ba 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 Notorious Nation, thanks for coming to this video. It's an exciting video. I'm going to start with this special box. The eating is going to be at the end of the video, though. It's just a quick eating challenge today. But I'm going to start with a box I got from a company called Tokyo Treat. So this is actually sent from Japan, of course, Tokyo. This is a box of treats that uh, is common in Japan. And you can get it sent anywhere around the world. I'll put a link in the description below. You can click on that link and then you can try it out for yourself if you're interested. But I'm going to show you what one of the boxes looks like. It's a monthly subscription. You can go anywhere, I think, from one month to uh, 12 months. And I think they even have a promotion out there. If you use the word black in the next day or two, you get a couple extra things in your box. The word black. But click on my link to get there. So here it is. It actually comes through customs, so it's totally coming from Japan. It's not just sourced in the United States. So this is my first time looking at it. Treat yourself. Spread the love. Post and tag. Tokyo Treat. Comes with a pamphlet, which... I'm assuming, oh it does, great. It says what's in each one. So, November snack menu. You get a list of what each thing is. Luckily it's in English, of course, because my Japanese is very, very weak. So I'm gonna start with, this is a corn pottage snack. Open this up. This is kind of cool. You get to you get to try a bunch of different stuff. Okay, it's like popcorn. Mmm, that's good. I like this one. But I'm always like crunchy uh, snacks. So. That is good. I like that one. So far, so good. This is Atsugi. Luxury potato sea urchin flavor. Now at Sugi, there is a, a naval base there. It's actually Air Force Base. And I was stayed at that base when I was entertaining the troops in Japan. So I'm familiar with Atsugi, but I don't remember these chips. So it's a pretty good sized bag of chips. I'm surprised they get so much in one container. These are good. Hey, what? This is fun. I have to get this again next month. All right. That's Max. Um, he wants to be involved with every video, but I normally keep them in a separate room. So this is another potato snack. Give this a try. This is exciting. Oh, this looks different. This looks like a big chip. Mmm. That's very good. That is my favorite so far. So we'll put this over here so I, I know my favorite. Oh, I recognize this. I got this for my, my kids once, I believe, when I was in Japan. This is a candy making kit and um, it's a fishing kit. So it's like a fishing line and you make the, the fish, you put the line through the fish and you pull it up once it's they're set and then you eat them. Very nice. I know my, my youngest will probably still like that. This is called Poriki Brown Sugar Flavor. Okay, this, this is a lot of fun. If anyone has kids, this is definitely something you should definitely try at least. Um, oh, it's Pocky. It's like there's Pocky sticks. Brown Sugar Flavor. It's approaching like a, a molded um, 
milk ball. Very good. My favorite is still that so far. So this is the Constellation Chocolate Cookie. That's what this looks like. Well, I like that. The chocolate's really good in this. Surprisingly tasty. Wasn't expecting that much flavor from uh, chocolate. This is Kibi Dango. It's a sweet candy stick. I feel like a little kid. I'm having so much fun trying all these things. You know, when I did go to Japan, I, I went into the stores and I bought, bought a lot of these things, I just didn't know what they were and brought them home for my kids. And they had fun doing it, but I've only been to Japan once, so it's a lot easier just to have them ship this right to your door. It's supposed to be sweet peach flavor. Mmm. Oh, I can taste it now. There's a little delay. You have to um, work it a little bit. It's chewy like a caramel we have in the States. Very good. This is espresso candy called Machi Choco. Give this a try. That's what it looks like. It's almost the size of a chocolate covered Oreo. Oh, it's not. It's, it's definitely not hard, so. Ooh. It's almost chewy like a one of those bunnies you get at Easter time. Like that clip of um, marshmallow chewy. Very good though. There's, this thing never ends. I don't know, you guys have to try this. This is, what a great value. You'll, your kids will be doing this for days. All right, this one is a brown sugar bar. Sorry, I'm gonna go through every one of these in this video. If you want to see the quick eating portion of the video, it's all the way at the end. Just a quick eating challenge. Mmm. This is so airy. It is the strangest sensation. It's supposed to just melt in your mouth and literally as soon as it hits like any saliva in your mouth, it just melts away. That is good, that, it's just like gone. I wish that would happen in, in uh, most of my eating challenges, just touch it and it goes. This is apple gummies, called N Penam. There we go. Mmm. What flavor is that? It says apple. You can definitely taste the apple. I just didn't know it was a certain kind of apple. With that, that's got to be. This is a close. This one's still first. That's a close second, though. There is so much stuff in here. Um, all right. This is chocolate doriaki. This is from Tokyo. It's a pancake sandwich, is how they describe it, and that's what how I would describe it. Ooh. I don't know. That was I'm sorry. Sorry, the gummies are kicked out. Even though they have great apple flavor, this is definitely second. That is good. Mm. 
This is chocolate pie from Say Tommy, which I mispronounced. I'm not familiar with where that is. I definitely didn't visit there. Mmm. It's almost like an eclair called chocolate pie. This is green apples in a bag. Oh, it comes with a toothpick. It's across, it says jelly and gummy, and that is a good description. It almost feels like it would freshen your breath. That's good, that's interesting. They're so small, but very flavorful. You get, what do you get in there? Uh, 12 of them, so that would last a while. This is Takayaki Omabo. This is fried dough covered in octopus. Can't say that I've ever had anything like this before. That's good. That is really good. Some of this leftover stuff here, I'm gonna have my daughter eat, but she's not getting the octopus. This is Machi Sandwich Cookies from Kyoto. Kyoto. Thanks for bearing with me. This is the first time I've done something like this and Typically, if I was doing this without you guys here, I would be spending a lot of time with each of these, trying to fly through so you can see them. So it's got a green tea flavor to it. It's very interesting in a cookie. I've never had that before. Definitely good. I can't believe all this stuff came in this box. So two things left here. I recognize the name there, Kit Kat. So this is a Japanese green tea roasted over charcoal in a Kit Kat. Can I break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar? Oh wow, that is different. Like the wafer inside is the same as we have in our chocolate Kit Kats. But the outside coat, coating does taste a lot different. And last, we have Coca Cola Apple, which I've never even heard of. Interesting, for people in the United States, there's no codes in Japanese lids. There's some ice here. This is from the eating challenge at the, at the end of this review. Wow, it's good. It's really good. It almost tastes like a, an alcoholic drink without the alcohol, but you know how you mix something into your Coca-Cola for a mixed drink? That, that, go, that works very, very well. Well, I could do more of this. We don't have this here in the States. Wow, so thank you. I want to thank Tokyo Treats for this box now there's two different levels you get you get the classic level or you can get the premium level this is a premium box so i got 17 items in here the classic level is 12 items so you get a little bit more with the premium level of course it costs a little bit more you get a nice box i mean a nice pamphlet describes everything 
where it's from. I glossed over the areas where all this food's from. It's all throughout Japan. But thank you, Tokyo Treat. Please see my link in the description below and you can try this out yourself. Up next is the McDonald's Happy Meal Challenge. All right, guys, today we have a quick challenge. It's a Happy Meal Challenge. And I don't know who's doing this right or not, but I got called out by Miss Hobbs and her husband, Brandon. They both did this challenge. You go out and get a cheeseburger Happy Meal. So I tried to do what they got, but I don't know, we're a different part of the country, but this is a, a soda with ice like they got. Straw to drink it through. And that soda looks smaller than theirs. This fry definitely looks smaller than theirs. Cheeseburger, a couple more fries. And they also got apples, which they didn't get. So I don't know how this is gonna be even equal, but we're gonna give it a try. I'll have to add a timer to this because maybe I'll open my mouth when I'm done this and then open these things and eat the apples. But it should be a quick one. Here we go. So, I'm not sure what that time was, but something's messed up here not being able to buy the same Happy Meal in different parts of the country. So, thank you to Ms. Hobbs and Brandon for uh, including me in this. Please check out their channel. I'll link it in the description below. I also got, it looks like a Hot Wheels car was the boy's toy. Thanks for watching another one of my videos and I'll see you guys again soon.